Well, hello, Hastings. Welcome to Tales of Love. Yes, we brought the series back again this year to hear more from local couples, to hear all the stories about the, how they met, the proposal, the wedding day, all that fun stuff. And we get to hear tips on their success on how to have a long lasting relationship, as well as uh, maybe get some tips for some single people out there. Um, so, and this time around, I have the pleasure of being with M Mr. Travis and Sarah Lockwood. Good to meet you guys. Thank you thank for you. having us. Oh, thank yes. you for being here and sharing your tales of love. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's start with uh, the good place to start is the beginning, right? Mm -hmm. So let, let's talk about um, how you two met. Who would like to take that one? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Whose version? Who, whose version? Want to hear first? See the last one always. <laughs> it was 1990. I do know that. Yes. So um, both went to DePauw University in Indiana, and uh, we met in the on the stage orchestra. Yep. Um, mm. He was a year older than me. He is still a year older than me. <laughs> <laughs> and we, uh, yeah, we met in orchestra. I don't know exactly the the day we met but yeah. it was that first day of orchestra and um so he had already had the freshman classes and i came in as a freshman and um yeah but we didn't really notice each other well i didn't notice him he you know <laughs> i don't know it's just like so long ago this was a long time ago so so you're not saying um, there wasn't was there a moment on stage when you know the mm -hmm. eyes met and there's the, the heart no <laughs> <you know? laughs> no it wasn't that magic no. or anything it was it was actually the following year that we, we kind of uh, got together. And um, I think we were, so we both played violin yeah. in the orchestra. And I think we were stand partners, maybe. Yeah, I didn't like her bowings. <laughs> you didn't like what? He didn't her like bowings. my bowings. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. So, yeah. Well, what are those? I have to so ask. So when you're playing violin, you have bowings. And you go up, down, and up. And uh. so, so I would mark bowings. And... And I knew that he was like being all nitpicky about my Boeings. And I'm like, well, no one else is complaining. So <laughs> anyway. It's because he cares. Right? I guess so. Yeah. So. Um, so who asked who out? Who, who's the one that asked the first one? Out? Mm. I think. Did you ask me to a formal? I did. No, it wasn't a formal. No, not a formal. <laughs> We're not that level. It was yet. an informal. It was an informal. I was in a, it was, I, it was a Greek school. So I was in a sorority. And we had like a dance, a very informal dance. I think it was at a country club. And I asked him if he'd like to go. And so we went to a dance. And um, how was his dancing? Not Terrible. good. <laughs> it was really bad. <laughs> was that before Mama Nuns or after Mama Nuns? Oh dear, don't even bring that up. <laughs> so there was a local establishment in town, Mama Nuns. This was uh, a different date. <laughs> was it before okay. or after? Just to be clear. It doesn't matter. Oh, okay. I embarrassed myself. <laughs> <laughs> Local pizza establishment, you know, university town. And uh, so we went and had a date there. Nice. We ordered pizza because they were, they were well known for their pizza. There you go. And. Um, Do you guys like the same kind of pizza? I ate or the whole thing is what happened. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> I ate like almost everything. He said, I think he had two pieces. So well, that shows confidence, though. Right? I don't know what that it shows. shows. I think it was, <laughs> you don't care what he thinks. If she you was eat the nervous. Whole pizza. I was nervous. No, I think no? if I would have been nervous, I wouldn't have eaten. Oh. So. So what kind so. of dates would you guys go on when you're in that period? <sighs> when you're in college. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Pizza, dancing. Huh? We saw the Indigo Girls. Oh yeah, we went to see a concert in that Belfry. was not in. We would leave usually. We left. We'd leave campus to go on dates. Um, we weren't. We were fairly close to Indianapolis, um, but did we? In Bloomington. in Bloomington, Indiana, we would go to concerts. Um, but so that was in Valparaiso. Yeah. That was in Valparaiso. So. Nice. Yeah. So how long was it before uh, this idea of uh, getting married first mm. popped in your heads? Mm. When was that? That was 1994. Um, so he graduated before me mm -hmm. and went to um, medical school in Oklahoma. So we had a long distance relationship. Um, and then I um, went to visit him for spring break, I think. Yes. Yeah, it was uh, spring of 94. And- um, April 1st. It was April Fool's Day. <laughs> <laughs> and it happened to be Good Friday also. It was kind of one of those weird things where things line up. Uh -huh. And um, so we went, to Oklahoma um, 
where he attended a music camp. What was the, the place? Quartz Mountain. Quartz Mountain in Lone Wolf. Mm -hmm. Why am I telling this? You need <laughs> That's where it is. Do I have That's the facts straight? Yes, okay. yes. So Lone Wolf, um, Oklahoma, and um, you can give the backstory on why you took me there. Um, so when I was, I went there as a camper in high school uh -huh. um, for the, it was an arts camp, music camp, and um, visual arts and in the summertime. And then I came back um, in college as a resident uh, assistant uh, cabin manager, if you will. Oh, okay. So I had spent several years there and hiked the area a lot, uh, just as a part of on my own time. And so there was a special spot that I found on one of the mountaintops. Ooh. So um, there's a, it's kind of a rock that juts out and you can't just climb to it. You kind of have to jump to get to it. Wow. Yeah. And this was years before we met. So he, and so you, you said, I'm gonna bring my future wife. You, this is what you told me. So you had yeah. already planned out this spot was gonna be the spot that you're gonna well, propose to. Yeah, that was wife. later. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. kind yeah. of romantic. Because if, <laughs> if she won't jump this, then she's not worth it kind of thing, huh? He's yeah. very into so symbolism and... <laughs> She must take that leap of faith. Of faith, faith right? yeah. yeah. She was kind of wondering what was going on on the way up. I totally, yeah. And, and I'm an Indiana girl, and we don't have a whole lot of rattlesnakes around. And so here I am. We're, like, climbing up. He's taking me on this hike. I have no clue what's going on. We're hoofing. And I think we did some biking and then parked the bikes and started walking up. And then I, all I could think about is some rattlesnake's going to come up from a rock and bite me, you know? <laughs> Um, Did you see any rattlesnakes? No. Okay, but there are a lot sign. there. Yeah, there are. So yeah. that's what I was, you know, concerned about. And then we get to the spot, and he's like, "Well, you've got to come here. Just you got to jump over this ravine." <laughs> and I'm like, "I don't want to <laughs> jump over a ravine." It's like it's not that big deal. I have learned that the big deal that is not is a rather big deal. <laughs> <laughs> and you've watched enough Looney Tune cartoons to see the coyote fall all the way down. It wasn't that bad. Like, no, okay. <laughs> it wasn't that but bad. it was a pretty good, it was a pretty good. But it was comfortable. You, it kind of had a little <sighs> yeah, outcrop. It was you a chair. You sit down in it and like oh, you're just yeah. out on the middle of nowhere. So I, he, he, I jumped over and I sat in this chair rock formation and he's like, now close your eyes. And, and I don't know what all you said, but. I, and he's like, okay, now open, and he had a ring, and Aww. yeah. So was the ring with you the whole time, or did you have it stored? <laughs> there? Yeah, it was hidden, so. Yeah. I didn't lose it on the way up. Yeah. Nice, <laughs> nice. So. And obviously you did say yes. Yes. And I, um, I made him ask me twice. <laughs> oh, really? Because I was like, is this for real? <laughs> it was April Fool's. Yeah. That's true, that's right, she it's April really, Fool's. doesn't really truly know yet. Mm. <laughs> yeah, That'd be quite my parents were in on it though, because I called them then, uh, like what, later that day, or mm -hmm. and so, and I was calling from a pay phone. Oh, I remember those. I <laughs> remember, yeah. remember those. the pay yeah. phones. We were like a some convenience store or something. I don't know. And I called, and um, I'm like, Travis asked me to marry him, and we're engaged. And my mom's like, oh, no, that's such a joke, Sarah. <laughs> April Fool's, ha, ha, ha. And I'm like, no, it's real, it's real. And my dad gets on, no, we know you're joking, it's April Fool's. And then they're like, Travis called us a while ago and asked for your hand. <laughs> oh. So they were totally in on the... And they were messing with you. They, they were messing with me. Oh, so. I love mom and dad for that, huh? I guess, <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, it was special. Oh, so uh, <clears throat> how long after that were you married then? 95. 95, June of 95, so a year. A little over a year. Yep. Yeah. Great, great. And tell us about the wedding day. How did that go? Where, where was it? It was pretty good. It was in South Bend, Indiana, where I grew up. And um, the wedding was at 1130 in the morning. Interesting. Most people have like you I know, know. four o'clock. Why, why, why 1130? Um, so this place called Tippy Canoe Place is where we got married. And if you know anything about Studebaker cars, um, this old home used to be Clem Studebaker's mansion. And so the building itself has been um, several things throughout, throughout the years. And then it... Um, at this time and still is, it's now a restaurant and then they do weddings. So on um, 
we had attended um, Sunday brunches, like my family and I, through the years there. And then um, Travis and I had also had some meals there. And we just decided it was a nice place to get married. And then we were, we were wanting to have <clears throat> a reception at the lake later. And so we, um, I don't know, we just liked their brunches. <laughs> I think that's what it was. It was their food. And we really liked the brunch they setting that eggs, they had. They, eggs Benedict, right? They do. It was just amazing. Like they had, um, what are those, waffles? Belgian waffles. Belgian waffles, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> See, we've been married long enough, we have to finish each other's sentences. <laughs> so yeah, they had a Belgian omelet, or a Belgian waffle bar and an omelet bar. It was just like, it was really good. So I don't know if we did it because of that, mm -hmm. um, but we wanted to have that brunch as part of our meal, so. Um, yeah. When you were a little girl, is this something, your wedding day, was it something you envisioned uh, long ago as a little girl, mm -mm. imagine having Belgian waffles no. and all that? No. No, I, you know, I was never one of those girls that like planned my wedding day since I was little. It was kind of like when we got engaged is mm -hmm. when I started dreaming about it. Um, I don't know, I guess I'm just not, not wired that way. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, yeah. So um, here we are, 20 and a half years later, <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah. And two kids later, I understand, mm -hmm. two daughters. Mm -hmm. um, tell us about your daughters. You have. Um, our oldest is Naomi, and she is now just recently turned 13, so we are having quite mm -hmm. a journey there. <laughs> oh, I hear, I hear yes. <laughs> you know, 13 um, going on 21. No. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then Josie is nine. Nice. So, yep. Aw. Uh, well, You've made it 20 and a half years. Mm -hmm. We'd like to hear some tips from you guys. You guys obviously, I think, uh, have a good thing going here. And uh, so we're wondering, uh, what tips do you have for a long lasting relationship? Hmm. <laughs> what are well, you guys' tricks? I'll, I'll sh this is not my personal tip. I will share a tip that was given to me <clears throat> by my father-in-law on the day of our wedding. And he said there's, oh, um, yeah. well, he said a couple of things, but uh, the, uh, three most important words. Was it the five most important words? Oh, he went down the list. Yeah, the six most important words, the five, the four, the three. But the two most important words that you need to um, remember is, yes, dear. Uh. <laughs> so it and thank handy. you, you know. Yes, yes. But the one most important word is we. We. Yeah. We. Yeah. So, so um, I don't know. I, I don't know what kind of advice I would give. Um, how about advice to any single people watching right now that mm. are looking for the one? How do, how do they, what, do you, what <laughs> advice would you give to them to help them find the one? Uh, I, I guess maybe I'd just say, don't worry about looking, mm. but be the one instead of looking for the one. Because um, I think if you focus too much on trying to find Mr. or Miss Wright, um, I don't know, you get disappointed, but why not just be yourself and that's, I don't know. <laughs> there you, go. There you yeah. go. Anything you'd like to add there, Travis? I would just say, um, <laughs> I think the importance of friendship and mm -hmm. having that connection um, really stays the course throughout. So you know, somebody that you're able to have that relationship with as a friend. Yep. So. Friends are good. Friends are good, huh? Long-term mm -hmm. friends are good, too. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I want to thank you both for your time and sharing your tales of love. Thank you. And I forgot to mention, we're in the Hastings Art Center, where you guys found it <laughs> okay. and operated. Kind of a minor detail. Or, <laughs> sorry about that. It's new to us, too. So. <laughs> but uh, no, this, is, this awesome space is the Hastings Art Center on 4th Street, uh, just a block down from City Hall. And you guys have done a, a marvelous job with this. I thank you. Say. Thank you. Well, thank you both again. And yep. uh, great stories. And so thankful that you guys shared them. Thank you. Thank you. All right. And thank you for joining us for this Tales of Love. We'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.